Hey everyone, Sharif Nathu here, your real estate agent with C21. Happy New Year and welcome to 2019. I'm back with your weekly market update. So let's take a look what's happened over the last few weeks. I know a lot of you have been waiting and dying to see what's been going on. So let's see what's happening over here. So as you can see, uh, right through December into January, we've had fewer sales. Um, and as you can see up here, uh, when January started to kick off, we've got a whole bunch of listings. So let's understand exactly what's happening right now and find out where we've come from. So taking a look here, we currently have uh, 11,402 listings currently available on the market. And that's up 5.8% from the week before. And as you can see in like the last week of December and January, we had uh, a, a really uh, a huge amount of of a decrease in listings so that's obviously normal for the time of the year um, as you can see in the last 30 days we're posting just under 3,000 sales which is down 12 percent 16 percent from the week before 19 percent from the week before and you can see here that starting November 26 prices uh, uh, sales just started to drop every week uh, week by week by week and and again drastically towards the last two weeks uh, of the year. Um, currently right now we have four months of inventory in the market and under contract we have 936 so up 5.3 percent from the week before so you can start seeing that um, as because it's January 14th people are back to work more sales are starting to uh, to uh, to produce so right now we have just under 8,000 uh, freehold properties on the market um, about just under five months of inventory and sales are starting to increase over here as well and if you look at the condo market, 3,500 listings currently on the market. Up. Hey everyone, Sharif Nathu here, your real estate agent with C21. Happy New Year and welcome to 2019. I'm back with your weekly market update. So let's take a look what's happened over the last few weeks. I know a lot of you have been waiting and dying to see what's been going on. So let's see what's happening over here. So as you can see, uh, right through December into January, we've had fewer sales. Um, and as you can see up here, uh, when January started to kick off, we've got a whole bunch of listings. So let's understand exactly what's happening right now and find out where we've come from. So taking a look here, we currently have uh, 11,402 listings currently available on the market. And that's up 5.8% from the week before. And as you can see in like the last week of December and January, we had uh, a, a really uh, a huge amount of of a decrease in listings so that's obviously normal for the time of the year um, as you can see in the last 30 days we're posting just under 3,000 sales which is down 12 percent 16 percent from the week before 19 percent from the week before and you can see here that starting November 26 prices uh, uh, sales just started to drop every week uh, week by week by week and and again drastically towards the last two weeks uh, of the year. Um, currently right now we have four months of inventory in the market and under contract we have 936 so up 5.3 percent from the week before so you can start seeing that um, as because it's January 14th people are back to work more sales are starting to uh, to uh, to produce so right now we have just under 8,000 uh, freehold properties on the market um, about just under five months of inventory and sales are starting to increase over here as well and if you look at the condo market 3500 listings currently on the market up eight percent from the week before uh, but sales are down um, about 13 percent and you can see that for the last four or five weeks we've had a decrease in sales actually longer than that we can see um, since November that uh, sales have been dropping in the condo market as well so just to show you more graphs over here if you're looking at a 12-week inventory again we're looking on average um, for condos about three months freeholds about 4.7 on average both uh, residential real estate has four months of inventory which means if you are a buyer currently looking to to, to purchase um, there is a lesser amount of inventory but inventory will increase as we go through uh, the the next few months but if you're a seller expect to wait um, about four months to sell your property which is normal in uh, in the normal real estate market so um, under contract I like to track this number here you can see that since December uh, properties I have just you know fewer and fewer properties every week have been selling and now we're starting to see an increase again in January for uh, as of January 14th so taking a look at over here again you can see that um, sales have just come down uh, 
you know, if you're a stockbroker, you're probably saying you probably use the word uh, the terminology plummeted uh, because of based on this graph. But it's going to start swinging back up again. And let's understand what we're going to expect for next year. So for 2019, uh, we're, you, you should expect that we're going to have fewer sales uh, and less listings in the market and longer days on the market. So just so you understand as a seller, um, expect your home to take a little bit longer to sell. If you're a buyer, uh, you'll have more time to make a decision and you'll be you'll have more access to inventory just remember that everything is area specific so let's let's look into some of the details of what happened uh year over year i actually want to show you something that the toronto real estate board produces um every month as well so if you look here total residential residential transactions year over uh year over year from december 27 uh, 17 to december 2018 you can see a drop in uh, in sales by 22 percent uh year over year Annually, you can see 16%, sorry, from December to December is 22% drop, and year over year, we've seen a 16% drop in sales. In terms of listings, you can see that from last December to this December, 31% drop in listings, in new listings coming in the market, 12% um, year over year. In terms of the average selling price, uh, you can see that pr from last year, on average, prices have dropped to 4.3%. So what does that mean for specifically for residential uh, freeholds? So this chart over here that Century 21 produces, I'm just going to put this together. Um, there's been a drop in prices. So we'll look at uh, this one over here. So December through December, prices in the detached homes have dropped 4.4%. Uh, Semi-detached -detach homes have increased by 3.2%. Townhomes have increased by 5%. And condos have increased by 10%. So those are the numbers for the year. If you have any questions about the value of your home or questions about what's happening in your neighborhood, please give me a call, 416-274-1513. And to view properties for home, take a look at CGTA Houses. Um, and just so you know, the theme for 2019 is that properties are going to stay longer in the market. If you're a seller, expect to wait a longer wait, uh, wait time to sell your home. If you are a buyer, you have more opportunity and more time uh, to purchase your home. Again, if you have any questions, 416-274-1513. Talk to you soon.